This video is brought to you by MagicJank.com, the spiciest cards for your sauciest decks. Buy and sell Magic the Gathering products and gear today on MagicJank.com. What is up, Janksters? It's your boy, Graham, also known as HamHawks42 on the internet, and today we have a cool announcement. Wizards of the Coast, in their weekly MTG stream, uh, announced today that they will be releasing Commander Masters, which, as you can see, is going to be uh, available in stores on August 4th. As of right now, it sounds like there are no plans to put this onto Arena, but it will be available in physical paper. So if you enjoy playing Commander, and let's be honest, Commander's pretty cool, if you're into it, this is going to be for you. Now, if you're not familiar with a master's set, what that means is the set is going to be made up um, almost entirely of reprints. I say almost, like, I, be, strictly because there will be pre-con commander decks alongside the main set. And they did confirm that in the pre-con decks, which we will look at, well, we'll look at what we know so far in a little bit, they, they confirmed that those will have unique cards in them. But otherwise, the main set, if you open a booster pack of Commander Masters, it will be 100% reprints. And it's pretty clear that they know what people want to see in Commander, and uh, those are gonna be available in these packs. So, so here's the, the artwork, I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. And you may think, wait a minute, that's a gigantic dragon with a whole bunch of dragons flying around it. Where have I seen that before? Um, we'll get to that in just a moment. So the first reprint that they showed us was Jeweled Lotus. So Jeweled Lotus is a commander super staple. It was printed to become a commander stu super staple, pretty clearly. This is power in commander. Pure and simple. If you have a three drop, four drop commander, all of a sudden you can get it on turn one if you have the Jeweled Lotus in your hand. That's bananas and you can do a lot of crazy things with it. Add a soul ring to the mix and all of a sudden you might even be looking at like monocolor five drops hitting the battlefield as early as turn one. Like that's insane. Wizards knows it's insane and it supercharges games in a way that people are interested in. And hyper competitive people are very, uh, very invested in. This is the kind of card I actually did open one of these at one point in when I was opening Commander Legends, and I gave it away as a gift because I knew it would be appreciated by somebody else way more than uh, than myself. Um, so if you enjoy high power, like you know high power Commander Jewel Lotus is the bomb. There it is. It's gonna be in the set. Next up, <clears throat> here it is. The Ur Dragon is going to be included in Commander. Masters. The reason this is a big deal is because the Ur Dragon was a part of a cycle in Commander 2017 of some of the best creature type themed commanders you could possibly get your hands on. The other notable uh, inclusion in that cycle is Edgar Markov. If you're running Mardu Vampires and you have access to a copy of Edgar Markov, you just need to put that as your commander. And same is true of Ur Dragon. If you're running five color dragons, Ur Dragon should just be your commander. Period. Like, it is the strongest effect that supports that creature type better than, like, anything else that has ever been printed. And as a result, these cards were printed once six years ago, or s probably seven years ago. I'm, I don't remember the exact release date. In any event, many years ago, coming up on a decade now, and they've never been reprinted. And so as a result, they're getting a reprint here. Well, as a result, they're expensive is really the bottom line. Uh, even though anybody who wants one only needs one to helm the, the deck, at the end of the day, who doesn't want to play dragons in Commander? Like, who doesn't want to play vampires in Commander? Like, those are very popular creature types that have a ton of support across Magic's history. Of course you want to play those. And if you're going to be playing those, Ur Dragon's the way to go. Or Edgar is the way to go. Now, at this point, Wizards has not confirmed that Edgar Markov is going to be included in this product. However, I think the inclusion of the Ur Dragon does symbolize that that is likely. Um, I would be surprised if we don't see if we see Ur Dragon and we don't see Eddie, uh, just because they're part of the same cycle. Why would you like reprint one and not the other? Um, the other members of that cycle, Inala and Arabo, are. Um, Creature type commanders for cats and wizards, respectively, which are strong cards, but those creature types do not have the kind of support and just, I don't know, curb appeal that dragons and vampires have. So as a result, those cards are not as in high, you know, they're not in super high demand. They may or may not be included in the set. Honestly, Ur Dragon and Edgar are the two that people really want to see. And Ur Dragon's going to be here, which is really cool. Uh, they also did show off this borderless uh, frame here. Um, I got to say, I, I'm, I don't know. I don't love it. 
the art itself is lovely. The background catches me off guard. As somebody who does like video editing and like live stream stuff, it looks to me like somebody at Wizards was like, man, all these content creators, I can notice in their YouTube thumbnails, they're like cropping out our characters. Let's make it nice and easy and give them a chroma key backdrop on one of our cards. That's what I see with that. And it's really distracting, to be honest. Like it doesn't look like a magic card to me, which I know is like a criticism that people throw out all the time. And like at the end of the day, it's a freaking Ur Dragon. Like if I open that in a pack, I'm still gonna be happy because it's a freaking Ur Dragon. But like, anyway, we'll see how the other ones look. It really shows the background. The dragon itself looks dope. Like I gotta say, uh, Tyler Woolpole, who did the artwork for this, did a great job on the dragon. I'm just, the background's a little distracting. Anyway, regardless, doesn't matter. The other the other card that they have, pr you know, uh, previewed that will be included in Commander Masters is Capture of Jing Zhao. I'm sure I butchered that pronunciation. I am so sorry. It is a five mana sorcery. Take an extra turn after this one. This is a uh, another copy of um, Time Warp, basically. <laughs> and uh, so if you didn't have enough of those already, you could add one. This had been originally printed in Portal 3 Kingdoms, which was a small run set that was printed like well over 20 years ago now. And I think only released in the Eastern market. So it's like really hard to get your hands on a copy of one of these. And now they're reprinting it. So I think what we're gonna see, this is similar to Imperial Seal or Imperial Recruiter. These cards that were super duper limited and really good at what they did. And uh, when they did see reprints, we did see the price drop dramatically for them. Uh, the originals still have some collector cachet, but if you just want this in your deck, bam, there you go. Hopefully we see more cards like this. Like cards that are cool mechanically and strong in Commander that are high demand items, um, it would be very cool of Wizards to find as many of those that are like really expensive because of collector value and reprint them here so that these are functional game pieces people on a budget can get their hands on. I like this, I like this a lot. All right, so the pre-con commander decks. There will be four pre-constructed decks. We have not seen the commanders as of yet. We've seen some artwork related to them, but we haven't seen them, you know, we haven't actually seen the cards. The, the one that's like especially noteworthy, like there are a couple that are fine. You know, like there's a Abzan and list, cool. Like nothing wrong with that. But there's an Eldrazi list. There is a colorless Eldrazi deck. I have a feeling that the existence of that box alone is going to reduce the cost of a basic wastes pretty significantly. And that is cool. Colorless commander players, this is gonna be for you. Whether you buy this box itself or not, it's kind of irrelevant. Like. But actually, it might still be a good idea. I would be shocked if there aren't some really good utility lands and some really good, like, role players. Um, you know, like, I don't know. If that thing doesn't have Thought Knots here in it, I'll be surprised. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't play Colorless in Commander specifically. So there's probably going to be some really awesome Eldrazi because Eldrazi are awesome. And there we go. The other two, there is a Sliver Swarm. There's a five-color Sliver deck as well as a Planeswalker Party. So there's a Jeskai Planeswalker deck. Now, they call it Planeswalker Party. I am curious if that is just a cute name and it's in fact a pretty straightforward super friends list or if it actually involves the party mechanic like from Zendikar or Zendikar Rising I should say I, I would be very surprised if it does but at the same time I don't know like it'll be interesting to see so there's super friends slivers enchantments and Eldrazi cool themes uh they, they seem to pick cool colors for them it'll be interesting to see uh, what we got. And like I said at the top, these decks will contain unique cards and will be the only product under the Commander Masters banner that does contain unique products. So there we have it, folks. Cool. Uh, so here we have the, the set booster display where they are guaranteeing a foil card in every pack. Neat. And I believe you're guaranteed. I believe they said on the stream that you're guaranteed at least, I believe you're guaranteed two either rare or mythics or some combination thereof in, in each set booster. Which it's not uncommon to get multiple rares in just a normal set booster, but I believe they did confirm that you will get multiple rares in these set boosters, like guaranteed, which is pretty cool. Like this, that's, that's a neat thing, you like to see it because honestly, it's a master's product. Like get us the good stuff and that's what they're gonna do. They also do have the draft boosters, which you know shows what appears to me to be like an alt, alt art variant of the Ur Dragon. Like if that's not the Ur Dragon, I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> we'll see maybe there's like I don't, I don't know I don't know what what that artwork is necessarily associated with but we shall see uh but yay dragons 
Uh, and then, so they also have the collector booster display, of course, which has the Lotus on it, which is cool. It's a neat, neat thing. And I also noticed this on the wrapper for the pack that's poking out. We see three dragon heads that are all different colors that are all the same size kind of together. Now, I'm no D&D scholar by any means, but that looks like it really easily could be Tiamat. So I suspect, I, I, I would be surprised if Tiamat doesn't see a reprint in this set as well, because Tiamat is the other really good five color dragon commander that honestly has become kind of the budget option if you can't afford the Ur Dragon, but even then it's still demanding a pretty respectable price tag. So reprinting that in this set would also be cool. And that's kind of my theory as to what that is. I could be wrong. It could be three different dragons that were just kind of like huddled up for the picture. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's Tiamat. Anyway, just saying. But yeah, so there we go. Um, yeah, here's the set code CMM. And yeah, the, the, first, the first look where they really dive into the product itself is going to be in May, May 16th. So this is kind of like, this was literally just the announcement that this product is going to happen. So we got a long way to go before we really get like concrete details aside from what we've seen today. But all the same, pretty cool stuff. Come August, we're going to have a whole bunch of Commander re reprints. What's not to love? And a huge thank you to my lovely patrons, especially the mythic patrons at the $10 level, Angry Jellyfish, Black Trav, LS89, Ryan, and Silent Labber. Thank you so much for doing what you do to help me keep the lights on. And if you, dear viewer, enjoyed this video and enjoy what I'm doing here at the channel, you can help out as well over at patreon.com slash hamhocks42 for as little as $1 a month. Every bit helps. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next one.